Another Wednesday, another vault opening video, guys. Welcome. Today we actually have six vaults that I have prepared. And they all have multiple options. Um, most of them even have uh, three or even more. So first is going to be my Shaman. Um, yeah, PvP character. Let's go ahead and open. I have full sockets. I have full gear. So I'm not even really sure what I would want. Um, that is a pretty good cloak, but I could just take this for transmog, I guess, or I could take this for trans. Why do I not have this transmog? Like I have this exact item on my DK. That is really weird. Um. Actually, uh, I will just be able. To, yeah, I'm just gonna take tokens because gold is just uh, more valuable. <laughs> um, I am most likely not gonna play this character anymore this season, and if I do, then I will most likely not be switching my socket slots. So I think I will actually just buy buy gold straight away, so that I don't forget to use this stuff actually have more okay there we go so boom 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 and my shaman is gonna go on the bench a little bit now because i think uh, i will be switching to my paladin for pvp actually or i kind of already did last week because um i've been playing shaman now for a while and i think paladin just suits my style more i don't know i'm, I'm not not 100% on it, but that's what it feels like right now. And as I said, even when I... I don't even know why I did the three options on my Shaman, because, I mean, it's smart for, for gold, I guess. But uh, even if I were to play that character, then I would just be working on upgrading my PvP gear through reaching a higher PvP rating. And um, I wouldn't switch any of the sockets out anyway, because I... Yeah, socketed the items that I want, obviously. So, anyway, two days before Vault, I decided to get my Paladin back out and play PvP on him. I already made one Legendary, the other one is still on chest because my chest is, like, really low. Look at this awesome weapon, guys. I had a 246 weapon from, like, the previous, previous patch, so that this is actually better in PvP. And yeah, we're gonna go loot spec holy, I think. We already are loot spec holy. And let's see, but most likely I wanna take sockets on this guy as well. Because... Um, <laughs> first class healing distributor, that's actually funny. I mean, that's not relevant because we have to play two PvP trinkets. Uh, this cloak actually is a transmog that I don't have yet. Yeah, so I did what I did when I realized two days ago that I was gonna uh, probably play this character. I was like, I want three options so I get two sockets. So I just did two raid bosses. I did one mythic plus key and I did one PvP slot because I figured that was gonna be the shortest way to um, to get uh, the three options. And I'm not even sure I would want this item. So we are gonna go actually with the plan that uh, I originally had to take the sockets. And I actually, from Conquest, I already bought two items that uh, we can socket right now, which is the nice thing, um, one and two. And um, my neck is an item that I'm definitely going to be using, and also this ring is an item that I'm definitely going to be using. So can get those sockets in and then gain uh, more versatility. And just buy more conquest items through the conquest that we gained. So that is going to be the plan for my paladin. It's now 280 item level, so definitely some ways to go. But um, yeah. Anyway, and also making an appearance is my warrior man. I should have showed you guys a transmog. I'm going to show you when I log out uh, because I actually think it's a it's a pretty cool transmog. But my warrior also. Um, Making an appearance on the Vault weekly show once again. So my warrior, last week I randomly started uh, playing Fury Warrior again and having fun, doing big damage. 
for the gear that I have. And yeah, so I actually ended up doing four keys on this character. So we do have two options and we're hoping for something good, obviously. Have a lot of gear from last patch, but also some uh, pretty bad items. We desperately need, of course, a weapon. I mean, we did some really low keys, so maybe getting a weapon next week would be better. I don't know what's happening with my weak aura, but I promise you everything is enchanted. So we're gonna go loot spec arms here, I think we are. Because we don't want uh, one-handed weapons, so let's go ahead and see what the vault has for me today. And it's going to be a trinket with avoidance, okay. And we have, sh oh, that's actually big. Shoulders is actually big because this is going to be um, tier set that we are going to be able to upgrade. So I think I definitely want to take this. I'm not too sure about this trinket. I mean, it's definitely better than one of the trinkets that I have. That is 100% for sure. But I don't know, the motorcycle. I don't think too many Fury Warriors want to play this. I mean, it's like a 30 item level upgrade over my currently used trinket, right? But I think I, I have to just pick this and um, it is a small upgrade right now, but eventually it's going to be really nice to um, already have a tier set item. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is the choice that I do want to make. So there we go. We're gonna uh, equip this and then surely we will remember fixing. We're gonna just leave this here so that I actually remember to fix my my tier set. So I have forced it again. Seven Grimrel Depot, huh? Okay, not bad, not bad. So yeah, anyway, you already were able to see the trend smoke there a little bit, but um, here you go. So the chest and the belt are still gonna get replaced, but other than that, we have a shadow pandaren warrior <laughs> shadow pan as shadow pandaren as and shadow pan anyway moving on it before it gets any more cringe on to my hunter where i actually did my final two keys to do four keys for the vault this night like <laughs> probably one of the latest times that i have ever completed vault keys actually i did it one time actually in the actual morning but one of the latest times, for sure, that I have ever completed Vault Keys on any character was a bit stressful last week, not gonna lie. Um, so we would like to get it uh, done a little bit earlier this week. But I did do four keys and that's what matters. So we're hoping for a nice item on my Hunter, currently 286 item level. We really need trinkets. We have gotten terribly unlucky on the trinket front. Could also take a ring. Um, and there's probably a couple of other slots. Headpiece would be nice. Well, actually, no. Headpiece would not be nice. I got that last night. We just need to upgrade it. Um, anyway, let's just open the vault. We are going to be loot spec survival, of course. Because we are currently playing survival and having a lot of fun with that. So, I'm doing some nice damage, as you can see. So, we have another headpiece. But yeah, I already kind of have one, but I uh, also have legs. Ah, uh, man, that is actually unlucky. I have, like, legs that I will not be replacing this patch. And then I guess I could save some valor by taking this item here. I'm thinking if this is... I don't really care about sockets, to be honest, because... On this guy, like the highest, I'm not really gonna be going for any crazy high keys or anything. So it's not really about min maxing. This actually saves me a lot of valor if I make this into tier, and I think that is valuable on a character that I don't like do a crazy amount of keys, but just some keys every week. I wasted a bit of cosmic flux last night then by tearing the headpiece that I ha that I have there, but um, I think I actually want to take this because this saves me valor. And uh, the more I think about it, that is actually valuable to me on this character. So we're going to equip this. We're going to go to 287.7 something. Same thing. We're going to leave this in the middle of my bags to remind me to tear this after I'm done recording. And yeah, 
not too bad. Um, now I can actually spend some Valor because I was actually holding my Valor. So, for example, I was considering upgrading this last night, but I was like, yeah, no, there's no point. Let's open the vault first. And that was actually a good call because I was saving my Valor to um, just to see what comes from the vault, right? So, let's think about what do I actually want to upgrade. Um... The shoulders is probably a good call. Can I even do that? My rating is still pretty low. I think I'm just like barely 1400. Can upgrade. Okay, so that should probably be a pretty good idea to upgrade this a little bit. Can I upgrade it more? No, okay. Um, the gloves are from the world boss, so I cannot upgrade that. I guess I can get one uh, item level on or one upgrade on this. And then maybe... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to upgrade this first mastery stuff here. And the weapon is just too expensive. We're just going to be hoping for a weapon from the vault at some point. So now at uh, 288.31 item level. So definitely getting a little bit bigger. Almost 290 in the tool. So that's going to be important. We just need, like, need to loot one trinket or something. That is going to be... Also this trinket is so bad actually I think for a survival hunter. But anyway... Um, Definitely, definitely nice. And uh, good vault and some good Velo spending here on my hunter. Two characters left, guys. And that is going to be my two demon hunters. My alliance demon hunter and then, of course, my horde demon hunter main after that. Meanwhile, let me post some things on the auction house on my second monitor. As I have currently been undercut and we don't like that at all. So we're going to be posting some more stuff. And undercut this guy right back straight away there we go very nice that is how you spend your uh, time login uh, screens efficiently by pl by playing two accounts on the second monitor and um uh auction house pvp in, uh, in real time okay so this is my little demon hunter that i recently leveled to level 60 because i want to have an alliance demon hunter as well um currently gearing him as tank and mythic plus my weapons are definitely beautiful, and so is this Zareth Mortis trinket right here. So that is the slots that we're looking for the most. By the way, the enchants are not missing. I don't know, this weak aura is a little bit buggy. Also, we could use a chest. Um, yeah, so let's see, but weapon and, uh, weapon and um, trinket, obviously, is the big ones here. So, loot pick, we're gonna go Vengeance, because I think there's... Actually, I'm going to go Havoc because, for example, the Upper Tazavesh, uh, Upper Karazhan Trinket, you can only loot as DPS. That's pretty sick, I think. Oh, man, a weapon finally, dude. Yes. Don't even have to think about that. Also, we have pretty good gloves. Look at this, guy. 70 item level upgrade on the weapon. 70... Two item levels actually. That is so massive. Crit haste weapon. I mean, the stats don't really matter. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That is what we have been looking for actually. It is a perfect vault in this character. So, we're obviously gonna be replacing the lower item level one. That gave me five overall item levels, by the way. <laughs> And an achievement. Let's go. Okay, time to sell this here. And um, I don't even think I have... Yeah, I don't even have a set. I just use the, the same uh, gear on, on both uh, Havoc and, and, and Vengeance here. So we're going to enchant that after I'm done recording. But that was actually the best vault so far. I'm very excited about that. So there we go. Can uh, start maybe going for 15s this week or something. Uh, I've been doing like 12s last week. Um, but yeah, my item level is still a bit low, obviously. Need to blast a bit this week, get some score, get some... Get some Valor and... Uh, yeah. At some point pick up a second weapon as well. <laughs> But this is gonna like increase my damage so much as well. This is gonna be crazy, actually. Anyway, on to the final character. If we are gonna be able to load in my main character, my horde demon hunter. 
that is so near and dear to my heart. Um, I am PvPing on this guy. I did eight keys as well. One of them was a 14 though. I realized it really late last night. And I was like, dude, CBA doing another key now. Loot spec. Uh, I mean, I only play tank in the highest keys. So I think I should go loot tank actually. Um, yeah, let's just do that in case we do get the Tazavish Streets tank trinket, which we are not gonna get that. PvP items are not interesting. Um, have some shoulders, but did get shoulders last week. Have a trinket. Let's. I don't even know this one. Your attacks have a chance to summon to haunt your target, reducing the auto attack against you. By, okay. Not bad, not bad. And we have a cloak. But, um... Well, but that's a 3 or 1 item level cloak. I think I actually want to take this trinket and try it out. Sounds kind of fun and it's gonna give me quite a bit of item level in PvE. So, let's go ahead and... So this is actually the my, my tank gear that I'm using, 293. And then we're gonna replace this PvP item and gonna go to 294.62. And we're gonna show in the tool as 295 now, which is nice. Uh, put this here, put this here, I guess. Wait, hold on. Save this to PvE tank. Interesting. So, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's a little bit sad that it has no agility on it, obviously, but versus is also pretty good. I think this trinket is crazy, by the way. So I'm happy to have that. And then I think next week we're actually gonna, from now on we're gonna go loot spec havoc because I am gonna be pretty happy with these trinkets now for tanking and uh, then we can try to get uh, um, the upper Karazhan DPS trinket or something from now on. But we're looking for some tier items still, like tier um, headpiece, like a headpiece or a chest would be really nice so we can get some big item levels on that. But overall, this character is definitely coming around, uh, gonna be able to do some higher keys. I mean, my score is also starting to, to build here, uh, currently now at 222.74, but I only played two weeks so far, right? Like, I didn't play in the beginning of the season, so uh, actually the previous week I, st I started playing, and then last week I did uh, the, the first time, like 19th, 20, something like that, so yeah. Um, we're gonna be continuing to do higher keys I think this week so let's see how far we can go and that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and until next time I will see you all later peace out